Hi everyone, so tonight I'm going to make up some uh, sprays. I bought one Distress Spray, uh, a Tim Holtz one, but they are just so good, but so expensive. So I made a load up for myself from food paste and water. They work just as well, they're absolutely brilliant. I use them for my, for my papers, I use them for my fabrics. I've also made some shimmer ones up and I used um, acrylic paint and water for these and that's what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to make up some more colours. I bought some two and a half ounce bottles, little spray bottles. I have cut the, a bit of the pipe off in them, that one's bent anyway, because they are so long and there's just no need and they kink so I have cut all of these down so first of all I put in a squeezy of acrylic paint Got a good teaspoon of it always have kitchen towel at hand oh, I get smoked out because I test what the spray looks like on it as well. Okay, so I'm going to put warm, warm water in. This has been boiled a while ago. I did do it with really hot water once and melted my bottles, so don't do that. I just two thirds, well, two thirds, almost fill it. Now I would also probably add a bead. But I didn't bring any down with me, so I will pop a bead in later. Give it a really good shake. You want to mix that paint in, still on the side there. This one is violet, and what I will do is I will put them when I've made them onto a piece of paper and just write what the colour's called. So if I like it and I want to make it up again, I know exactly which paint I used for it. I also do that if I mix paint. I um, I write down what I've used to make the mix. That's still quite watery, so I'm just going to add a little more paint. You put a bead in, it just helps to mix it. You can put a, drop, a few drops of alcohol in it. Um, I haven't done with any of mine. Um, and mine have been absolutely fine and I've had them months. So that's a little bit darker now. I'm happy with that colour. So that one there, we shall pop on the paper. Just write what that one is. So that's violet. Okay. Next one. Do an orange. It's just the same process. Put the right lid on. On the tube. Add your water. Give it a really good shape. When I use these, um, especially if I've made them with acrylic paint, when I've finished using them, I just give the nozzle a wipe with a wet wipe, just so that it keeps it clean for next time, because sometimes they bung up otherwise. If they do, I just use hot water, run hot water over them. Happy with that one. make a couple of browns. I've got coffee. Coffee's probably the only one that will go off and go mouldy 
but I do, I go through it that fast that I don't think I keep it long enough to go off. Um, I use it a lot. These are really useful when I'm doing, um, uh, if I'm making a, a pocket and I've just got a small little card and I just want to give it a bit of a, an aged look for the coffee. Um, and the rest of them, it depends on what project I'm working on. It's just nice to have a good selection of colours. This one's called Burnt Umber. It's quite a nice brown. I just make little tickets. I spray what colour it is onto it and then I just sell it anyway onto the bottle just so I know exactly what I'm picking up <clears throat> and what it looks like as well. This is why I wanted to get some different shades and different colours. I'll probably mix these two browns and do one as well at some point. Um, see what comes out on that. What's this one? Burnt Sienna. The food colouring paste ones give a really nice colour. And sometimes when you use them on the fabrics, you get um, a different coloured sort of hue around the edge of, of the fabric. And that looks really nice. Okay, let's see if this one comes up. It's just a little bit more rusty. Let's run out with that one is. Burnt Sienna. Okay. I don't have a black spray, so I'm going to make one up. Not sure why or what I'll use it for, but I'll give it a go. One's called Rose. Like a fuchsia pink. But I have got fuchsia pink that I did with the food colouring, which is really bright. I've also got some metallic acrylic paints. I've got a green uh, rich ex espresso. What's this one? Teal. So I'm going to make some of those up as well. I'll make that one a little bit stronger, I think. It's quite watery. If they're too watery, then they just add some more paint to them. I find that with the food colour paste, you don't need a lot of colour. Um, they are really concentrated. For example, my, my fuchsia one here is very, very bright, very coloured. You create ones, don't you? That's better. Okay, so that one's called Rose. I have got a shimmer spray as well, so if I wanted to just put a bit of shimmer onto that, then I'd just spray over it. Um, let's do the, let's do Rich Espresso. Okay, water, give it a good shake. I really like the shimmery ones, they come out so well. Definitely, definitely going to put some beads in with these eggs, it does help them. That one's really shiny. That is lovely. 
So we'll write down on that one so it's rich espresso and it's a shimmer. Do the green. Same again. It's just, I find, a really inexpensive way of getting yourself some sprays. Um, if there was a colour that I really, really wanted and I couldn't get, I'd, I'd pay and, and get a certain branded one. But I think for you just your standard colours, you can get some really good, or you can mix them and get some amazing colours. This one here, that's a mix that I've done. Got a bluey purple sheen to it, which I absolutely love. That that's a mixture of different colours. I have got written on a piece of paper what they are. Um, this is a sea green that I made up, and again, it's a mixture. That one's a shimmered one, and I just absolutely love it. These are really good if you were doing a ocean or a sea one. Is the green one called crystal green? Crystal green shimmer. <clears throat> I have one that is like a teal, so I don't need to do that one. I will do. I'm going to do a yellow, and I'm going to mix two colours on this one because I'm not keen on having this bright, bright yellow. Dull it down a little bit, so I'm going to mix this darker one in with it and see what we come up with. And obviously if you wanted something a little bit paler, more pastel just add some white acrylic paint to it. You can make some really nice pastel colours doing that, which I may do at some point. It's got an orangey glow to it. That'll do. I like that one. So we'll write down on that one. That is Walker yellow and mid yellow. Mid yellow and Walker glow. Okay. okay, I'll just do my black and a red. And that's my paints mixed up. And that has doubled the amount of sprays that I have in one go. And it cost me five pounds, I think it was, for the bottles that I bought. And I had these paints, I've had these paints years. Um, that's it. No other layout, which is an awful lot cheaper than it would have been to buy sprays online. <clears throat> It'd be quite nice to add some shimmer to the black, but I'll probably do that as a separate one. There we go. Two more done. And there we have another 10 spray bottles. Okay, thank you for sharing with me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It'd be great if you subscribe. And I shall see you all again soon. Bye.